Oh man, um, how many, can I like, uh, I want to do like a poll of the audience, I want to divide everyone in half like an election. Uh, who here is from New York? Like just clapping, just, no, yeah, there, that's good. And who was like, is visiting New York? You're not from here. It's, it's the weirdest dynamic, that's my favorite dynamic about New York City is that tension between people who were like, 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 like came here or people who were born and raised here. Because I think like, you talk to New Yorkers and they feel like there's like a competition of like who, has it the worst, where for me, well, first of all, like if you're born and raised in New York City, that's technically child abuse, but like, <laughs> I think it's weird if you visit here, if you're on vacation or if you like move here, because New York City, your entire life, it's an image, right? It's a thing on the TV screen, and then you move here, and you have to reconcile the image with the reality. And sometimes it matches up perfectly, and sometimes it's just a disaster. Like, like, like this morning, I was walking through Tribeca. That's where like Jay Z and his future ex-wife live. And right, she's gonna kill him. I, I, I listened to her music. I know this is gonna happen. It's true. Just, just the Illuminati stuff. Just Google it, please. But I was walking through Tribeca. I turn around the corner, and for the first, I lived here seven years. The first time in my entire time in New York City. I saw the Ghostbuster house, and I'm like, oh my god, that's just like the movies. And then I turned around, and there are two homeless guys spitting on each other, and I'm like, wow, that's like no movie I've ever seen. That's, that's like that weird dream I keep having. I don't know. Oh, man. I, um, I like New York City a lot because my day job's a tour guide. I love being a tour job guide. It's just, it's, it's a cool job. First of all, because I get to be corny in a way you don't get to be in real life. Like I can talk to people and go like, and welcome to the real New York. And I don't feel embarrassed about myself. And it's, it's weird. I love work. I hate every job ever though, right? Like if somebody asks me, like, hey, can you move that box from there to there? I'm like, oh, it's like a fun game, but like every job ever is kind of creepy and evil, right? Even great jobs, like Google. You read the magazines, right? You see how people work at Google and it looks amazing. Like my best friend, he wants to work at Google. He's not smart enough, but he wants to work <laughs> at Google more than anything in the world. And I ask him why. He's like, well, it's amazing. They give you free breakfast and they give you free breakfast. He mostly wants to breakfast. And <laughs> I have to explain to him, because I'm condescending, I have to explain to him that like that, all that cool stuff is there to trap you there. It's a fun prison, right? Like, the first day you show up and they're like, welcome to Google. We have a waterfall in the lobby and John Legend's playing a concert for lunch. And if you look over at that pool table, there's a guy crying under it. Like, why? <laughs> Why is everyone here nervous? I don't know. I think, okay, so jobs suck, but like, I don't care everyone of you. Like, if your job sucks, if you're a smart person and you pay attention, you grow from your job, right? You'll learn and mature from your job. I don't care what job you have. I worked the worst jobs in my life. I've learned something from every job I ever had. Like, I used to work at McDonald's. I learned, don't eat at McDonald's, first of all. <laughs> I used to work at the Subway restaurant. I learned how to sell heroin. You learn something <laughs> at every job. I, I love being a tour guide. I love it. And it's weird because you're going to introduce people to the city. I had a tour last week where uh, I was showing around a family of three. It was like a big person, a little person, and like a seven-year-old. I don't know if it was theirs or not. But like, <laughs> I was showing around a family of three. And I always end my tours at the 9-11 Memorial because it's like close to transportation options. And I guess it's interesting. I don't know. And as we were going through the tour, I turned to them and I go, and after this, we will end at the 9-11 memorial. And then the parents go like, oh, that's understandable. And then the seven-year-old girl looks up to her parents and goes, what's 9-11? <laughs> and then the parents, they turn to me and they go, well, you can explain that to her when <laughs> we get there. And I'm like, I guess that's literally my job. Uh, so we're at the 9-11 Memorial. Have you all been there? Yeah, it's, you should go. It's nice. It's fine. And like, if, if you haven't been there, this is the whole premise. It's like a big building here and then two holes in the ground. That's the whole thing. So I explained it to the seven-year-old girl. I have a kid myself, technically. I abandoned him. But like, I, I understand what you're explaining. 
explain stuff to kids is as long as it's primary colors and simple shapes, you can explain to them the world. So I tried to like cut down everything about 9-11 and just put it to its barest elements. I explained to her like this. I go like, you see this big building right here? There used to be two big buildings here, but then a bad guy came and knocked them down. <laughs> And then her like face just drops, and she goes, "Oh no! Was everyone okay?" <laughs> and I looked at the parents. I was like, "Yeah, they're fine." <laughs> All right, thank you, everybody. Goodbye.